Hi, welcome to the show. My name's Howard Moon. This is my apprentice, Vince Noir. Apprentice? Get stuffed, you're my apprentice. Don't start showing out. Or what? Or I'll come at you fast, like a northern bullet. I'll put a move on you, you won't know what's happening. You haven't got any moves. I've felt your moves. How flimsy are they? They're like being caressed with a natural yoghurt. I've got new, powerful moves now, thanks. Yeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What, did you send off for some new ones? Yes, I did. did they you? arrived this morning. First post? First post, yeah. The post that hurts the most. Well, come on then. Yeah, I'm going to put a move on you. Bring them on. Do you want to feel something? I'll yeah. take you out for a meal with Mr and Mrs Payne. Oh. Order up some violent quiche. Do you want some? Come on. What's that? It's supposed to be that's nothing. Feels like nothing, but that's the vibrating palm. You feel all right now, but two hours from now, you'll go to a shop, you'll buy a hat, it won't suit you. Ow! Chica -chica. There's no way. Look at me. My hair's virtually a hat. All hats suit me. You'll see. Yeah, I will. Enjoy the show. Hi, welcome to the show. My name's Howard Moon. This is Vince Noir. All right. This week we're going to be dealing with the idea of immortality. Can a man live on after his own death? I'd like to think that I will be remembered many years after my own death. What for? For the things I say and do. The things you say? Hmm. Like what? Have you seen my light blue trousers? Can I have a crest? There are many things I do that you know anything about, OK? Really? Yeah. What sort of things? Like once a month, one euro goes out of my account straight into a charity. I don't even know about it. Direct debit. Whew. What, that's how you're going to be remembered? Yes, sir. For Euro generosity? Well, among other things. Anyway, I don't even need to be remembered, because I'll be in the future. How? Through cryogenics. Are you aware of cryogenics? I've heard people say it. Well, I'm going to have my head frozen cryogenically, OK? And then I'm going to be put in a jar, and then 12,000 years from now, they'll revivify me, and I'll be the head in a jar. And they'll wheel me out at ceremonies, consult me like an oracle. Be great. Why don't you just get your whole body frozen? It's not the way it works in the future, Vince. It's just heads floating about, consulting each other and uh, ceremonies. Really? Yeah. Or I'm going to get my hair frozen. Imagine that. Then future generations can get it out and just look at it, see what's possible. Where are my light blue trousers? I gave them to Leroy. What did you give them to Leroy for? He took a shine to them. Don't give my trousers to people because they take shine to them. Look, if you've got a problem, take it up with Leroy. I'm going to take it up with him now. Well, go on then. Leroy! Welcome to the show. Hi, welcome to the show. My name's Howard Moon. This is Vince Noir. All right. This week we're going to be tackling the tricky subject of death. But whoa there. I know what you're thinking. Don't think that, because this will give me, as an actor, a lot of room to stretch myself, dig deep into myself, and bring out some of those darker truths that we all share. It's not just going to be Howard's boring acting, though. There's going to be some music, a bit of adventure, and some outlandish special effects. Not as outlandish as they would have been had you not spent half the budget on your hair. My hair's an intrinsic ingredient to this show. Do you mind? Do you really need 15 people working on it at any one point? At least. Two for fringe, one for feathering, one for height, circumference. Circumference? Yeah, hair circumference. There's a lot to think about with hair. If, if my barnet didn't look right, people get furious. They tune out immediately. I think you underestimate the power of my acting to hold a crowd. I don't think so. I don't need a funny little hairdo for that. I do my own hair. Council does your hair. The camera loves me, Vince. It's just the way it is. The camera loves me, I think you're fine. Just get off. Now I'd like to just prepare you with a small speech from Hamlet. Thanks. Death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have. Basically, he's going to be doing stuff like this throughout the show. So, um, if you get bored, just press the red button on your remote control, yeah? And you can see me dressed up as a hedgehog, <laughs> dancing away, grooving around. What's going on? Nothing. Come on. Enjoy the show. Hi, welcome to the show. My name's Vince Noir, and this crazy character is Howard Moon. Don't touch me. <laughs> He's such a joker. He's always doing stuff like that. I'm not joking. Don't ever touch me. Not now, not during the show, not ever. <laughs> Don't touch me. This week we're going to be going on a terrifying journey to distant lands, but we're also going to be going on a different journey. A journey into the depths of the human soul via my acting techniques. Plus, in one of the scenes, I'll have the legs of a ram. <laughs> Imagine that. That's not happening. What? I rewrote that bit. That's the best bit. Yeah, but, you know, we thought about it and we thought, 
No. We? What do you mean, we? Well, me and Leroy got together and had a little look-see. Didn't Leroy? like Leroy? Yeah. Well, Leroy's got no business messing with the scripts. What? He works at the ice rink. Well, he brought a fresh pair of eyes to it. Did he? Fresh perspective. He sells slush puppies. He rewrote it. Oh, great. Yeah. That's the, way it's ha that's the way it's staying. Oh, right. Yeah. It was his idea in the first place. Well, I can't do anything about it. Well, I'm going to ring him now All and right. take him to task All right, about then. that. Enjoy the show. Hi, welcome to the show. My name's Howard Moon and this is Vince Noir. All right. This week we're going to be tackling the subject of heroes. What is a hero? Who is a hero? Am I a hero? No way. That's a question we're going to be tackling in the show. Can anyone really be a hero anymore in the modern world? Mick Jagger, he's like... Yeah, but I'm talking about real heroes. He's a real hero. He's yeah. a monkey genius. I'm talking about people like Livingston, you know? Who? Explorers. People who went deep into the heart of darkness, yeah, to confront the terrifying abyss. What would Jagger do when confronted by the abyss, huh? He'd probably go like this. Enjoy the show. Hi, welcome to the show. My name's Howard Moon, this is Vince Noir. All right. This week we've got a real treat for you in the form of a very, very special friend of mine. An actor, a great actor, who's agreed to play a part within the show. Not a Simon McFarnaby. Yeah, Simon McFarnaby. <sighs> one of the foremost exponents of devised theatre in the country. You only get him in because you think he's going to put you in one of his little devised pieces. He might do that. What do I, you know? I don't think so. He's not working at the moment, so I thought I'd get him in the show. Really? Yeah. I wonder why that is. What do you mean? Well, he looks a bit weird, doesn't he? He's all wooden. He looks like a conker. What are you talking about? No, he doesn't. He's here now. Do you mind? Simon McFarnaby. Hi. How are thanks. you? I'm well, I'm well. Yeah, you're looking great. Yeah, thanks. Looking great. Thanks. So, um, are you, you working much at the moment? You got much on? A bit quiet at the moment, mm. but I got something lined up for the autumn. Really? So, really? Bet yeah. you have. Hmm? So, uh, I just want to say that um, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah. Great to be working with you. Okay. Uh, really, really looking forward to working with you and just working Thanks. and being with you Thanks. on the show. Well, I'll go and get warmed up. All right. Okay. Yeah. okay Why see don't you. you go and put your head in some vinegar? What? He's just uh, mucking around. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See ya. What are you doing? What? Get off. Enjoy the show. Simon. Hi. Welcome to the show. My name's Howard Moon and this is Vince Noir. Hello. Sorry. This week we're going to be tackling the subject of fame. When uh, Lady Fame comes a knocking on your door, you've got to be quick to open that door because if you don't open it a quick, she's away. As if. She only knocks once. She does not. She knocks at my house all the time. Banging on the door. She's on the doorstep. I go to Tesco. She's hanging on to my cords. That's not Lady Fame, is it? Huh? That's Mrs. Pelham. She talks to mushrooms. It's not. It's Lady Fame. I don't think Lady Fame would shop at Tesco's. She'd shop at Mark's, if anything. She goes to Mark's for her bits. She doesn't do her main shop there. No one does. Well, maybe we should talk about this another time, yeah? OK. Yeah? See you later. All right. Kind of legal. See you later, chewy teeth. Enjoy the show. Hi. Welcome to the show. My name's Howard Moon. This is Vince Noir. All right. This week, I'm going to be playing a host of characters within the show. Um, but don't be afraid. It's just something I can do as an actor. I can play any emotion. I've seen him, it's pretty powerful. Yeah. Um, here's a little taste of just some of the stuff I can do. What's that? Grief of a sailor. <laughs> that is genius. You're liking that? Do another one. What's that? Cornish guilt. Oh, How that, eh? Cornish guilt. You're liking it? Timeless characters. <laughs> can you act? <laughs> can I act? <laughs> Not really, no. Uh, that was me acting there. Liking that. <laughs> yeah. The twist around. <laughs> yeah. What else have you got? Anything? I've got loads of stuff. Go on then. Do you want to see one? Surprise me. Welcome to the show. 